Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Byron Janis, the Mercury Masters, a wonderful nine CD box. Plus, you get like a Bluetooth DVD, blue something, whatever it's called. I never know. I don't really pay any attention to those blue things. But here it is. And this is blue, too. We've got, let's see, the Mercury Masters, and they are wonderful. Now, Byron Janis was one of those artists whose work was distinguished by its almost uniform excellence. Really first-rate interpreter. And he did initially, he was an RCA artist, but RCA had many young American pianists. I mean, there were a lot of them around between RCA and Columbia to divvy up. You had Gary Grafman, you had Leon Fleischer, you had Van Kleiber, and you had this guy, and there were a couple others besides. It was a problem. It really was. And what happened? What happened was he made some excellent recordings for RCA. As you know, we've talked about them. There's a review of the RCA box, an excellent review by our very own Jed Disler on ClassicsToday.com, which you can go have a look at. And at one point, uh, he recorded the Schumann Concerto with Fritz Reiner, of all people, which was like really hot stuff, but it wasn't released. And the reason it wasn't released is because Van Kleiburn won the Tchaikovsky competition and recorded the Schumann Concerto with Fritz Reiner, and that was released. And so Byron Janis decamped to Mercury Living Presence, which turned out to be, I think, a pretty good move, and re-recorded a lot of the repertoire he had done for RCA, um, plus some besides. So let's let's take a look at this really lovely, nice, solid box. I like solid boxes, you know, what the, you could open. Well, sometimes they open. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, it's not, doesn't want to get open. Wait a minute. There we go. Well, listen, better a little tricky to open than it falls apart whenever you pick it up. You know, that's even worse. All right, I got it here. There we go. I should have practiced before I did the video. I mean, I did, but it seemed to open easier when it was in my room there with my stereo. But now that it's, it's camera shy at this point. So here you go. You got the box. You got a very nice booklet. A lovely essay. There it is. The lovely essay. And guess who wrote the lovely essay? Our very own Jed Disler, who writes fabulous essays for most of these productions. And let's see what we have now in here. These are all original jacket thingies, except for this, this, this like, uh, you know, blue thing at the end here, uh, which contains like, oh, most of the stuff that's on the other discs, right? Yeah, I guess so. I don't, I don't even look because I don't play them. Maybe you do. I, it's, it's nice if you enjoy that stuff. Okay, here we go. Uh, Rachmaninoff, Piano Concerto Number 2, Prelude in C-sharp minor, and the Prelude in E-flat. Wonderful Rachmaninoff. Wonderful Rachmaninoff player. What I really love about this rock, too, is that the slow movement is 9 minutes and 59 seconds. It's not too slow. It sounds just marvelous at the tempo that he takes it, which is flowing and beautiful. It's, it's exciting. It's virtuosic. I mean, really... He did these things as well as anybody. And the problem with all of these performances is that it's all standard rep. And there are so many really good recordings of these pieces. So, you know, you, you go for the artist. I mean, as, as a pianist, Janice had virtuosity to burn, a wonderful musicality, sense of line and phrasing, digital clarity, contrapuntal clarity. He didn't have the widest color palette, um, which, you know, you know, he was no Claudio Aral, but then who was, right? Anyway, or Richter, but I mean, he's just as good as often as not. So there we go. Um, this is with the Minneapolis Symphony and Dorati. Then we have Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto Number no. 1. That's all that's on here. The London Symphony Orchestra with Herbert Menges, or Menges, or whatever you want to call him. Then we've got, um, oh, it's a very good Tchaik 1, by the way. It's exciting. It's beautiful. It's crisp. It's clean. It's lively. It's warm. It's, eh. It's not Van Cliburn, who I, who I think always was terribly overrated in Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto No. 1. It's also not Martha Argerich, who I think is unparalleled in Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto No. 1. But like I said, they're all doing the same stuff. So you go for the artist. Uh, let's see, Rachmaninoff, Piano Concerto No. 3. This is his second recording of it, remember. The first one was with Munch in Boston, and that was just wonderful. Some people prefer it to this. They're quite similar. He makes the cut in the finale. He plays the, the lighter, zippier first movement cadenza in both performances, and they're, they're excellent. So, you know, and this is with Dorati again, with the London Symphony, let's be clear. 
I don't mind that cut. I really don't. It's kind of a long concerto. Prokofiev, Piano Concerto Number 3. Rachmaninoff, Piano Concerto Number 1. Moscow Philharmonic, Kirill Kondrashin. I mean, these are valuable for Kondrashin's contribution, too. And a couple of these, as you'll see. I really like these performances. This Rachmaninoff one is as good as anybody's ever done it. It's astonishingly brilliant. And the Rachmaninoff, I mean, the Prokofiev is just terrific. Absolutely terrific. And again, quick tempos, similar almost to Prokofiev's own. Not a single movement over 10 minutes. I mean, he just plays the living daylights out of the work. It's so refreshing to hear that, that wonderful, hard-edged, sharp, flinty sonority and, and extreme, extreme steely brilliance in a work that needs it. I mean, that's the point, right? So it's excellent. Next, let's see. Ah, first time ever. Encore. Lots of encores. List, Hungarian Rhapsody number six, Vols Oublié number one, Schumann Romance in F-sharp, Faya Miller's Dance. I love the Miller's Dance. This was released on um, the List Piano Concerto disc originally, some of these bits. Um, the List Petrarch Sonnet, number sonnet number 104. Um, David Guillon, the harmonica player, Prokofiev's Toccata. Wonderful performance of the Toccata. Jed pointed out, very musically shaped. As brilliant as you could ask for, but it's not like mindless banging, which is like a really good thing. Uh, Mendelssohn's Song Without Words, one of them, Schumann's Novelette in F, Chopin Etude Opus 20, 25, number three, Waltz number three in A minor, and then Ottavio Pinto, Sinas Infantes, Memories of Childhood. And it's, oh, it's all just fun stuff. Then what have we got here? List, Piano Concerto number one, Piano Concerto number two, first with the Moscow Phil and the Kondrasha next, with the Moscow Radio and Arosh Destvensky. Yeah, these are hot performances of the list. They're as good as anybody's. H hands down, I reviewed this for Classics today. You can go take a look. Um, another incarnation of it. The original Mercury Living Presence reissue on CD, but like I said, with a couple couplings, but this is as good as it gets. And you can take a look at that review if you're curious. Uh, here's the Schumann Concerto, the one that he redid when they didn't release the Reiner, which has since been released, of course. And, and let's see, the third movement of the, oh, the Piano Sonata number three, three, yes, the variations on the Andante of Clara Week and the Arabesca in C. Beautiful performance. It's a gorgeous performance of the concerto. First class. Uh, Masorzi, Pictures in an Exhibition, which RCA also dug up. Um, it's a very good pictures. This is like one of the unsung pictures as pictures as, 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 as pictures because you know everyone does like Richter and those people for pictures but this is really quite wonderful and uh, let me just check out something here do the Tuileries promenade yeah, blah, 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 yeah, yeah there it is yes he still does not do the other um, promenade before Limoges I think that's the one it is because Ravel left it out but it doesn't matter it sounds great and finally um, live from Leningrad in 1960. Mozart, Piano, Concert, piano Sonata Number 5, Kershaw 283, Schumann's Arabesca, Chopin, Second Piano Sonata. Ooh, hot stuff. List, Paul Zublier Number 1, Petrarch Sonnet 104, the Copland Piano Sonata. This is just great. I love Copland's Piano Sonata. It's terrific. It's like American Prokofiev, you know, so it's really cool. Uh, two more Chopins, the Etude. In F, Opus 25, number 3, Etude in G flat, Opus 10, number 3, and Fias Miller's Dance. Now, some of these are also here, which you've seen, and that is the Garrick, Garrick Olson, I'm going to say. Oh, kill me now. No, the Byron Janus edition. The reason I said Garrick Olson is because Reference Recordings is releasing a complete Beethoven piano concerto cycle with Olson, which I'm looking forward to hearing and talking to you about. So I was just checking the email about that. But no, this is Byron Janus. He's wonderful. It's better to do less and have it all be of a uniformly superior quality. And that is what is true of Byron Janus. Get this while you can, if you don't already have the Mercury boxes, which you may. I mean, how many different ways can we get this stuff? Let us count them. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.